Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another day of our summer reading club programming. And today is Monday, and we have a really, really fun craft plan for you guys today, where we'll be making these really, really neat and colorful paper spinners. Isn't that super cool? I always think it's fascinating to look at. <laughs> so, what you'll need for today's craft is some construction paper. I'd recommend just using any colored paper really as long as it has some bend to it. And I have eight different colors today as you see just because that way when you have each individual strip they're all different colors and it makes your sphere here and spinner really really colorful. So I have eight different colors of construction paper. You will also need some scissors for cutting today. I would recommend grabbing a ruler for all of our tracing and for making sure each line is straight. Also, grab some glue. I'll be using a glue stick today, but hot glue and white glue work just as well. And last but not least, you will need a skewer. Now, wooden skewers work perfectly okay. I couldn't find any, so I grabbed a chopstick and then I just sharpened the edge. If you have to do it this way, be very, very careful not to cut yourself or get any splinters while sharpening the edge, but any skewer will work just fine. So to get started today, what you'll want to do is grab your construction paper and you will want to cut a paper strip just like so along the length, so the long side of the paper, and you wanna make sure it is about a half inch wide. So just like so, you have your inches up here, your centimeters down here, you will use your inches, and line up so it's a half an inch. So if I can demonstrate here with mine, just like so, you will want to create a line or mark it so it's in the middle of the zero and the one here, just like that. And once you have created your strip and lined it up, then you can cut it out again using the long side. And I would recommend doing that for all eight of your colors. Now it'll look just like so, where you have strips that are all the same size, all the same length, and all different colors. And then I have these ones too. So our next step, once you have your eight, oh goodness, eight strips, you will then want to cut out tiny little circles. It doesn't matter what color they are, they work just as fine. Now I used yellow today and for my circles, what you will want to do is they need to be here. Allow me to measure. They need to have a diameter of one and a half inches. So what that means is the diameter is the, we'll say measurement from the one side of the circle all the way to the other. So if it's one and a half inches, that means from this side of the circle, all the way to this side of the circle is one and a half inches. And because a circle is like that, so it's nice and even, ideally this side and this side will also be one and a half inches apart. Now, what I did for mine was I found the glue stick, just the top of it, and then I put it down and then traced it out. That way, this itself was one and a half inches and it creates these nice circles. Now, you will want to trace and cut out four of these circles. Again, the color is completely up to you. Just make sure they're around the one and a half inches wide, just like so. Now, once you have all of your strips and all of your circles here, it can take some time. Cutting them all out took me about half an hour, so don't worry, be nice and patient. Once you've done that though, now comes the fun part. We will be grabbing our first circle and grabbing our glue stick. Now what you want to do is just glue all the way on top of your first circle. That way there's glue all over it, as you can see with the shine here. And we are going to start putting on our strips. 
what you want to do is just grab one strip, line it up with the middle of the circle, just like so. And as you see, our first strip is glued on to our circle here. Now the next step is then re-glue if you need, add your next colored strip on the opposite side of it. So just like so. As you see, my two strips are on opposite sides lined up, both glued to the middle. Now we'll just be repeating this process over and over until we're finished with all of our strips. And I will put my next strip here and then my fourth one right there. I find this is a really, really nice and easy craft to do today. And the paper spinner is really, really awesome and fun to play with at the end. So I'll grab my third strip. I will then put that in the middle, just like so. And I will then grab my fourth strip and put it on the opposite side. It looks just like this. As you can see, it makes a little bit of an X. Now, you will then want, just to do the exact same thing you've done before, put your next two strips in the little bit of an opening that you have here. Just like that. You see my yellow has just gone on top of the X, and again, is lined up with the middle. Now I'll grab my red strip. And again, glue that, put that in the middle so it looks like this. You can see it's really starting to grow. And grab your glue once more and keep gluing as much as you need to make sure all of your strips will stay on the middle of your circle. There we go. I'm just putting the last ones on now. If it takes an extra minute to line up, don't worry. You want to make sure they are nice and straight is that way, that's what makes the actual paper spin. There we go, just like this. Now you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight different strips on my circle here. Now you, what you'll want to do next is just glue all of this, and then we'll be putting our second circle right on top to make sure everything is nice and snug and it doesn't ever fall out when we're actually spinning our paper spinner. There we go. Make sure it's, yeah, everywhere is glued. There we go. Just like this. You see how it's right on top? and in the middle of all of our strips here. Now, the next step, and this is a little bit harder, but it's just repeating the exact same thing you've done before, except this time we'll be grabbing our circle and bringing the different strips up to it, just like so. And then again, gluing them on top until it makes, as you see with this example, a really, really neat looking sphere. So grab your glue and your third circle, and then just glue the entire bottom of the circle. Make sure it's all nice and covered. That way each strip will stay nicely glued. And then I'm gonna hold it up, and I'm going to grab just one end, it doesn't matter which strip, and make sure it's glued in the middle here. As you see, just like that, and then you'll want to grab your next strip at the bottom and then just go on the other side exactly as you did with your previous bottom and strips, just like this. And then if you need to re-glue at any point, feel free to do so. You can flip it around, move it around a little bit. There we go. So now I'm going to do the next ones, and again, I'm going to be making just a little bit of an X here. And 
as you see, every time that I am grabbing a strip, I glue one on the one side, I do the other side first before I go around doing the ones right beside it. And that way it stays nice and straight and it keeps it easier to actually glue all of your different strips on. So now I'm going to flip it over just for a sec so I can re-glue. And I find one of the hardest parts is actually reapplying the glue because it can be hard to keep the strips on. But be nice and patient. It is well worth it in the end. So I'm going to grab my next strip and I'm going to just glue that in the middle. And then grab your next strip. Again, do the exact same thing, put it in the middle. And now this is my final re-gluing because I'm on my last two strips. There we go. I'll grab my red, put that in the middle. You see it looks just like this, a little complicated. Oh, and if some of them fall out, that's okay. Just means I didn't glue them well enough. But feel free to fix them if you need. There we go. And then just put the yellow right on top. Just like so. And it'll look just like this. Now, your next step is to grab your last circle, so number four, then just add some glue to that one too, all over, and then that will go on top of all your loose strips here. As you see in the bottom, there's one on the top, we need one on the bottom, so we're just going to put this circle right there in the middle to make sure that all of these strips stay nice and snug and together. Okay, and just like that, you will have your actual colorful sphere. So, our final step for today is to grab your skewer and you will then just poke a hole at the bottom and then we'll be putting our skewer right through all the way up to the top. Now for this, be very, very careful. Make sure you don't poke any fingers or hurt yourselves in any way. And this will take time and be very, very patient. I find that if you need to use just a little bit of a pin or a thumbtack to make the hole first, it might be a little bit easier. And that way, you can also measure out where you want the hole first as well. And we'll see if it's sharp enough to go right through. Be nice and patient, because if you're not patient, then you risk folding your paper spinner. And if it's folded, then it won't spin as well and as nicely. Just like that. And I am able to get my skewer through, so now I will just keep rotating it until the hole is big enough for my skewer to get through, no problem. So you see, I'm rotating it here, just like this. Awesome. Now we are just about there. And then you can pull it through, just like so. And make sure that you can then get through the top. I'll do the exact same thing here. Just grab your pin, being very careful not to poke yourself. And that puts a hole just through the top. And I can then grab my skewer and follow where that hole was until I can get through the top as well. It'll take some time and a little bit of finagling, but we should be able to get it through, no problem. There we go, and as you can see, my hole is just about ready. There we go. 
Now at the bottom, once it's through, you can then extend it, fix it however you want. There are a couple of different ways you can do this. You can either grab the bottom and put it right in the middle of your skewer and that will make a little bit of a wider circle. Or what you could do is you could bring the actual um, bottom all the way down to the bottom of your skewer and that will make a little bit more of an oval or an egg shape and all of which make these different kind of designs when they're actually spinning, which is really, really cool. So that'll be everything for today's craft, guys. Thank you very, very much for joining me as always. I hope you've all enjoyed this really, really neat and easy to make craft for today. I hope you all have a tremendous rest of your day and I can't wait to see you all soon. Have a good one, everyone.